So in the past, when I have felt depressed, when I have felt low, confused, foggy, and unworthy, or not good enough, instinctually I have quested to change that feeling fast. I was not very good at sitting in that feeling. Something that came very natural to me was to reach for alcohol, um, reach for sex, reach for food, reach for anything that can alter my brain chemistry, at least momentarily. The problem with that, as many of you know, is it's short-lived. And when you sober up, or when you're done with that binge, that from which you were running from is still there. Today, I'm in a space in my life where I choose not to run from those depressive feelings because my, my history has shown me, and especially my most recent history, has shown me that if I can sit in those feelings, in those depressive, low, hopeless feelings, if I can sit in them, there's a tremendous opportunity for growth. What I've noticed about the way I have changed and molded myself over the years is that the longer I allow myself to just be uncomfortable, the better likelihood and the more chance there is that I'm going to make a change that has the potential to benefit me long term in a sustainable, real way. That change could be in better self-care. That change could be in a change of leadership in my life. That change could be desire to learn more, to be more, to be better, to grow. Discomfort is very useful in that way if I can make a commitment to myself not to run from it in a destructive way. As I sit here, you know, in my car thinking about the fact that, yeah, it's definitely like a little stretch of days where I'm just a little bit down, feeling a little insecure, feeling like I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, just feeling low. I am thankful, I am thankful that I have acquired slowly the perspective that there's an opportunity for growth here. Uh, I learned that through fire. It was trial by fire. The, the, the road to self-esteem is to do things that are esteemable. And I also am, am well aware that I am my actions. I am not my thoughts. And so when I get down like this, I, I almost revel in the fact that I very likely will come out of it a better, stronger person so long as I keep my core values and my primary purpose first, which for me is to stay sober and to do the next right thing. So today I'm a bit down, I'm a bit depressed, feeling a little hopeless, but I am not panicking. The best changes I've ever made have been made through my discomfort. Rarely when I'm feeling really good do I, do I add things, do I give myself the opportunity to take it to the next level. Sometimes I do, but mostly if I'm feeling good, I coast. And maybe I'm coasting in a beautiful space, so it's not to say that's bad, but when I'm feeling uncomfortable, like something's wrong, I know that maybe something needs to change, be tweaked, added, modified, and then I attack that. I've been thinking about where I wanna be in the next year, six months. Um, and I think something that popped into my head that seems like an epiphany or, or a realization is that I would like to complete some formal education. And maybe that's why um, that can be the silver lining to this feeling down is that I've been reflecting on the fact that historically I've started college and dropped out three times now. I've done that three times, I'm 31. I almost have enough credits to be a junior somewhere in my sophomore year. And I think that hangs over my head. So now I'm gonna talk some leadership in my life and I'm gonna explore that. Is there a space for me to pursue education again? Am I doing it for ego purposes? Am I doing it to serve others? Am I doing it to fulfill a personal desire that, that has nothing to do with thinking then I'll be good enough? You know, I, I can just learn and I can grow and I can explore. And that gives me tremendous hope because when I deal with these sort of feelings in this way, I will become a stronger Noah. When I, the way I dealt with them before, I simply always became a more broken and more weak version of myself. And that's a huge realization that I have that choice. There's hope for the future. There's hope for where, where I could go from this. And I'm not afraid. That's why I'm grateful for depressive feelings because your boy gets to level up every time I walk through it with grace and dignity and in a way that allows me to build more self-worth and self-pride. And if you're having a hard time or you notice that when things get hard, 
you resort back to, to behaviors that lead to feeling bad about yourself, pause. Take a moment and pause. And believe me when I say that if you can just sit there and, and investigate the core issues of what might be going on, and hopefully with someone, by the way, we are often aren't like well equipped to deal with these feelings alone, especially if we're not very comfortable and familiar, you might become someone you've always dreamed of becoming. And this might be something you need to go through. And that sort of mentality excites me. So I wanted to share that with you today. I hope that was worth something to you. And I hope you have a really, really good day. I really appreciate the fact that I have this channel to just share my thoughts and my feelings. And I'm glad that I can tell you that today I felt insecure. Like I, Today I was comparing my self to others and I doubled down on my affirmations and today I can build myself up and make sure regardless of how I'm feeling I'm behaving in a way that shows me that I love me very much and I can act my way into better thinking which is good thank God let me know if, if you you feel me on this one give me some personal stories what are times in your life that that a bit of discomfort has led to self-destructive behavior and what does that look like how does that always play out for you and then what does it look like when when you do something constructive instead and how does that play out in the long term i think the more we share the more transparent we can be the better we all are my job here and hopefully yours in the comment section is just be honest and that'll be good enough yeah i'll see you guys in the next video adios